Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Kawa Janae. I'm going to just do a quick little makeup tutorial for you guys today and I hope you like it. Keep watching. I start every makeup application with a primer and this is the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Facage that I'm using and I just apply that all over my face. This brow pencil is by ColourPop and it's in the color black and brown and just use a spoolie to shape your brows and get all your hairs in place. And after that, just take the pencil and outline your desired brow shape. Now, it may take some time to get the shape that you want, but do not rush this step. It's completely fine. It took me a lot longer. I just sped up the video. And once you get the shape you want, you can always clean up your mistakes with concealer. So no worries, girlfriend. No worries. Now it's time for the foundation, honey. This is a Sephora 10 Hour Wear Protection Foundation in Fonts Deep, number 55. So I just apply some all throughout my face and I do use a wet beauty blender. Make sure your beauty blender is wet. This is a very important step because if it's not wet, it's not going to allow that foundation to set onto your skin and blend effortlessly. So just take your time, blend. I always go down into my neck, my hairline, and into my ears just to make sure my shit is laid. So take your time on this step and make sure your beauty blender is wet. Or if your brush you're using, make sure you spray it with some Fix Plus or something. Something, just don't use nothing dry, child. Like, you don't want no dry ass face. Back again with the NARS concealer. I'm gonna be highlighting under my eyes. I use a generous amount under each eye. And I use a little down my nose, above my lip on my cupid's bow, and a little on my chin. And I use my wet beauty blender and I blend my life away. This step, oh my god, it's, <laughs> it's a little much, but I mean it's a must because you don't, if you don't blend it right, when you take pictures, you're going to look like a hot ass mess and I promise you do not want that. So make sure you blend, blend, blend and take your time. And now I'm using a Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm just setting everywhere that I use the concealer. On to the eyeshadow, I decided to keep it real basic today just using the Master Palette by Mario with some earth tone colors just to give my eyes a little pop so my face won't look so flat.
next step is going to be to contour the side of my cheekbones and I'm using Blunt by MAC. It is a blush, but it works well for me when I want to contour. And I, when I'm blending my contour in, I make sure I go into the hairline and into my ear a little bit because I really want my contour to look seamless. I don't want to just line down my cheek, like no. You want it to blend to look natural basically, like the natural shape of your face. And excuse the fish face, but I don't realize I'm making a face until I watch myself doing it. <laughs> but that's the only way I get my good contour that I like. Add a quick little eyeliner and on to the highlight. I think this is everybody's favorite part because it just really brings everything together. And what girl doesn't love glitter and shimmer? Like, highlight me up, darling. And I just highlight on my cheekbones down my nose, my cupid's bow, and a little touch on my chinny chin chin. And for my setting spray, I'm using Mario Badesco Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. It smells so good. And just some quick mascara on those lashes, darling. I'm allowing my real lashes to grow because I was getting individuals and they were pulling them out, so that's why I'm not using falsies today. I hope you guys enjoyed my 20 minute makeup look. My camera did cut off on me when I was doing my lips, but no worries, I will leave the names of everything I use in the description box. Bye, see you guys next time.